fucking playing with me. Yeah. Come on. Hey, let me. Hey, man. What's up? What's up? All right. All right. All right. Hey guys, so I've had a lot of requests to make a video on how I get my buying and selling prices of an item off to GE. So uh, I'm going to show you. Let's get right into this. So let's go ahead and let's use Bando's God Source for an example. I haven't looked at these for ages. Um, wow, four mil. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just buy one for the med price and see what happens. All right, so it's an instant buy. So let's take a look at how much money we got back. So just slightly under 1K. So I like to call this price um, the peak of the instant buy price. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right back in slightly under this peak value. Uh, we know that this will sell eventually because it is below the peak. So there we go. Just slightly under what I bought it for. And then we are just going to let it sit. Now I let this sit and wait for it to sell. I'm going to go ahead and do another item at the same time. So uh, we're going to do Dragonfire Shields this time, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm not going to look at the grass. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to get the item and just put it in for the med price and see what happens. So there we go, med price, and it doesn't buy. So in this case, if it doesn't buy for med price, we know it's over the med. And so what we're going to do is we're going to gradually increase the price just slightly. So the med price is 9.7. We're going to go ahead and try to buy it for 9.8 and it does not buy. So we're going to go ahead and do it again. Note the Bandos God Sword sold, that's good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try this Dragonfire Shield again, but we are going to do it for 9.9 .9 this time and see if it buys. Just going up by 100k increments. And there we go, it bought. So we can go ahead and abort the other Dragonfire Shield offers. And then let's take a look and see what this one bought for. So there we go. So that is going to be our peak price, just like we found on the Bandos God Sword. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put it right back in, just slightly under that peak price so that we know it'll eventually sell. And we are just going to let it sit. All right, so we'll come back to the Bandos God Sword now. Um, it's sold at that peak price, well, slightly under the peak price. And so we're going to go ahead and buy 10 of these at about... 20k under that price we just sold it at. So if you remembered, we sold it at 3.969. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put it in for 3.95. And then we're just going to let them sit and wait for them to buy. And as we wait, hopefully that Dragonfire Shield will sell so we can find the peak price for that. So I'm speeding this up right here because it took a minute or so. Oh, there we go. So it sold. So there we go, we now have the peak price for the Dragonfire Shield, in which we know that we can sell them at. So I'm going to go ahead, just like the Bandos God Swords, I'm going to go ahead and throw in 10 of these. But I don't quite have enough cash on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the cash from the one we sold. So here we go, throw in 10. And I'm going to throw in 10 for 9.8. And if you remember, the peak price at which we can sell is 9.835. So take a look at that. Uh, two instantly bought with 160k instant cash back. That's nice. So we just sold one for 9.835 a minute ago, and uh, so we basically already made 160k profit. So it's been about five minutes in, and these Bandos God Swords still haven't bought. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the price on them just a slight bit um, to see if we can start getting them. So as you notice, I had them in for 3.95. So we're going to go ahead and put them in for 3.961 and uh, see if they'll start to buy then. All right, so while these offers sit, I'm just going to go through my bank, get rid of some junk, just try to eat some time uh, while we wait for these offers to go through. So once I've done that, we'll take a look again. And there we go. So it looks like five of the Dragonfire Shields bought. Um, we still have that 160K that we got on those first two. And so what I'm going to do now is... Take those five out, and then abort the offer, and then I'm going to put them in for 9.828. Now, if you remember, the price at which we sold ours earlier was 9.835, so it's just slightly under that. Um, anywhere within that range is good. Um, and there you go, as you can see, one just sold, so we basically just made another 30k right there. Um, these bandles got swords are still being annoying, so... 
I'm going to go ahead and abort the offer once again and rebump them up another 10k to see if they'll start buying then. So you guys will find this happens a lot when you're trying to flip something where you find the price at which you think you're going to buy them for but none will buy and you just got to slowly increment them up until you start to buy them. Um, that's the best way I figured out how to do it. So I uh, just I put in the wrong price there. So like I said we're going to go ahead and put them in for 3.97 which was 10k over. And then hopefully they'll start to buy now. So, ooh, another Dragonfire Shield just sold. So it's 60k we made. And I'm just gonna speed this up again. Uh, go through my bank again. All right, so let's take a look. And there we go. So looks like four of the five Dragonfire Shields sold. Uh, looks like one of the Bandos God Swords finally bought. Uh, so, as you can see, we thought the price we were going to buy them was 3.5, um, we had to bump it up twice, but as you can see now we're starting to get them, so it uh, looks like we got two now. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take those two and then sell them uh, slightly under mid. So if you remember when I first started the video, I got that God Sword instantly for about 1k under the mid price. So I'm going to go ahead here and just make sure that I'm putting the offer in for just slightly more than 1k under the mid price. That way they'll sell. Um, Hopefully that made sense. Um, looks like three more of the Bandos God Swords bought, and there we go, one of them sold. So now we have this point where we find a good buying price and a good selling price, and both of these things are going at the same time. So as you can see, one bought, another one sold, there you go, this, the second one sold. So I'm going to go ahead and board that offer, um, take these, oh, another Bandos God Sword bought, so I'm going to take these and put them in at that same price, just slightly over 1K under the med. Um, and then we are going to let them sit again and hopefully they'll sell. Um, so we're going to take a look at these Dragonfire Shields now and go ahead and put another offer in, buying this time, um, for 9.8 again. So going to buy five of them. 9.8. There we go. And then, wow, another two bot uh, with a little bit of cash back. So. That's good. Um, there we go. One sold for 9.828. So once again, now we found a good buying and selling price for the Dragonfire Shields in which both of them are occurring at the same time. Um, and this is when you guys are going to make the most profits when both are going on at the same time. Um, granted, the difference between these two prices isn't going to be a lot, but what is, it's 30k with the Dragonfire Shields and 10k with the Band of God Swords. So I mean... 10 Dragonfire Shields equals to 30k, 10 Bandos God Swords equals to 100k, you know, put that together, that's 400k, and then maybe you want to add in a third item in there, and it just adds up, um, and as you can see, things are just going extremely fast right now, um, and this is what it's like once you find a good buying and selling price, um, and then as you'll see, as you continue to do this, prices will fluctuate within the market slightly, and you'll have to adjust your prices accordingly. So if the Bandos God Swords are going up ever so slightly, like we've seen, um, I might have to increase my buying price by a few K and increase my selling price by a few K. Um, so that's about the gist of it, guys. Um, I hope this makes sense and you guys get a better idea of how I do this. Um, I use the same method when I flip higher items, such as next armor, um, <coughs> rares, etc. Um, I never look at the graphs. I don't get when people look at the grass. I mean, it doesn't really tell you anything. Maybe for long-term merching, maybe. But uh, if you're trying to flip like this, there's really no point. Just buy that item for mid, see what the market is like, sell it for slightly under what you bought it for. Granted, yes, you are going to lose a little bit of money that first time when you resell it back, but in the long run, as you can see, you're going to make that back times a lot, <laughs> however long you decide to flip for. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, hope that clears some stuff up for you. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.